how are goals being scored against us? This was the question that was in my mind when I went back and I watched all the goals that we've given up that we have on tape. And I found some really interesting things. So what I did is I watched the goals and then I put them in categories based on the type of goals that were scored, okay? Category number one is transitional goals. So it's goals where maybe the puck was in the neutral zone or in the offensive zone and the other team broke the puck out, got it into our zone and quickly attacked our net and scored. They look something like this. Maybe it's a two on one, a pass and a shot, okay? Maybe our players are all back checking and it's basically, it could be a breakaway, a two on one, a three on two, a three on three, but it's where they transition into our zone and quickly attack our net and score, just like that play right there. Well, only 23% of the goals that we've given up are transitional goals. Another category are shots from the point, just like this one. So you can see the red team, that's, by the way, that's the opposition, we're the blue team. It's plays where we get a shot, maybe there's a tip, and it goes into the net. So far, we've only given up one goal on shots from the point, and I think there was a tip on that shot, okay? So only one goal, which is 4% of the goals that we've given up, were shots from the point. So shots in the point haven't really hurt us that much. Point haven't really hurt us that much. Now the third type of goal is one that we've uh, definitely given up a few more goals on. Um, it's called like, I call it the house. Basically plays where they pass the puck into the house, they take a shot, and there's a goal okay so it's typically the puck stuck in our zone um, maybe someone's left open like x2 was right here and the pass is made across the ice and it's put in the net now 28 percent of the goals we've given up are shots from the house and most of those goals um, that player was wide open there was nobody covering that player okay so that's 28 percent Now the biggest category of goals are scrambles, okay? So these are plays where the puck, they just get shots and rebounds and it's like a fight for the puck in our house. Now those goals, which look something like this, maybe X2 shoots and there's a rebound and there's a rebound and it's eventually in our net, that has been 45% of our goals. So when you add up those house goals and those scramble goals you get you know what do you get almost 80 percent of our goals are those okay okay now most of those goals in fact if i can be really specific okay most of those goals and 90 percent of them one of two things are happening okay number one is when the puck is loose, both defensemen go to the same person with the puck, okay? And what happens next is maybe there's a pass or there's a shot and a rebound just like this, and there's somebody wide open in the house because both defensemen are going to the same player, okay? I call those goals over pursuit or um, puck focused goals. So those are goals where the defensemen are both so focused that they both go to the puck and they forget about protecting the front of the net, okay? The second thing that happens quite often, okay, is um, it's more of an issue with our forwards. I call these open man goals. So these are situations where the players in front, maybe the forwards skate back to the net, but they don't actually grab and defend those open men. So you can see here, F1 and F3, they're kind of close to X1 and X3, but they're not really doing anything to, to pick those players up. And the puck goes across, which is gonna happen right now, and the puck is in the net, okay? 
So what can we do? Two small little changes would probably cut the goals we give up in half, okay? At least in half. Number one, defensemen, don't get too puck focused, okay? One defenseman plays the puck, the second defenseman needs to watch that player in front of the net, okay? The second thing we need to do is we need to have our forwards pick up those open men. So you can see F3 has picked up X3, D2 has picked up X1, D1 has picked up X2. Everybody's covered, okay? If there's a rebound, what are we gonna do? We're gonna fight for position, try to keep the players away from our goalies so they can easily cover the puck. Just like that, everybody's pushing and protecting the goalie, okay? That's all we gotta do, guys. That's all we gotta do, guys. That's it. So in summary, if I can keep it really, really simple, it's not point shots that are hurting us. It's not really transitional shots that are hurting us. It's those passes into the house and those scrambles in front of the net where our defensemen are too puck focused, so they're leaving people wide open in front of the net. Or forwards, they're, they're maybe skating back to the house, but they're not picking anybody up we make those two little small little changes we are going to be a much better team please remember this this is if we do this this will make the biggest difference in our success okay so that's it that's the video